they had that little purple patch a few weeks ago where they were playing some good football. I think the other sides didn't quite know how to deal with them at times. But I've watched their last four or five games, uh, been at, at three of those games, including the cup semi-final, when I'm not sure, if I was the coach, I'd be looking at going out to the side of the pitch and saying, you can't play out from the back because the opposition are pressing you. You've got to play longer. You've got to go into the front. And it looks to me as though Solskjaer, sitting on the side, just lets the game meander at times. And he's relying on the players to do outstanding things. Rashford might get a goal out of nothing. Martial might get a goal out of nothing. Fernandes is picking out his passes. But the game plan in the last four games, particularly against Southampton, particularly against Chelsea in the semi-final, they didn't know how to combat what the opposition were doing, which was a high press, or in Chelsea's case, being really compact and not allowing them to play through the middle. And, Chelsea, and Manchester United and Solskjaer didn't know how to cope with that. And that's why they lost against Chelsea. And that's why they struggled in that first half against Southampton. Solskjaer needs to improve the tactical but, side of the game if he's to take Manchester United to the next stage. Aren't we being a little negative here, though, Robble, considering what they were 14 points? Hold on, Leicester, hold on. Leicester at once hold there. on. Never <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. What's, what, t should we be getting the streamers out and the pom poms because they've finished? third place and 33 points behind Liverpool, 15 points behind Man City, who were hopeless by their standards, who had a half a defence for the majority of the season. They couldn't defend. They played Fernandinho back there for 50% of the season. And we want to get the, oh, this is brilliant, Manchester United. Let, sorry, Robbo, to butt in. They had the same amount of points, 66, as they had the season before, when Solskjaer had six months in the job. So please spare me that, oh, don't start praising me because Tottenham were hopeless, Arsenal were hopeless and Chelsea struggled because of a squad. On top of that, we had little old Leicester who hung about for a long, long time, but the injuries caught up with them in the end. Oh, but hey, let's throw a party because Manchester United finished third, a country mile behind the top two. That's the points, Robbo. That is the point I think Stuart's making. Not that we're not saying, oh, finishing third is great, but how do you bridge that huge gap in terms of uh, between Liverpool and City in terms of your squad and your manager's tactical nous? But the point of the matter is that you were saying they've got to get rid of him. If they're going to move yes. forward, they need to and do that. And why would that not change? Why would that not change? Because we, he's exceeded we, your expectations, surely, in that he's managed he's to get... He's got the same amount of points as last year. But he's got them into the year. top four. He's, do, he's got the job done. Because others regressed, Dopey. Others regressed. <laughs> Tottenham imploded. Arsenal were hopeless. Chelsea had their hands tied behind their back and still made it into the top four. They haven't super exceeded uh, expectations, Manchester United. They've got the same amount of points is last year. How many times do I need to say that? He has got to prove that he has the tactical nows to sit there and take on the best managers in the league and close that huge gap at the top. Not sit there and say in a paranoid way, oh, we read through the criticism and we sat there all thin-skinned. And look, we showed everybody. I'm sorry, you didn't show anybody. You pretty much did the same as last year, just, just with a little bit more swagger at the end. Sorry, Craig, Shaka wants in again. What do you want, Shaka? <laughs> I was quite enjoying that rant. Um, li listen, I, I understand everything that everyone is saying. Um, I, I, I'm all, even a little sympathetic to Solskjaer doing a little bit of a victory lap, given the criticism that he's come under and where they were in, in January. But Craig's right. Manchester United are a huge club. The fact that they're closer to Bournemouth than they were to Liverpool um, suggests that Solskjaer shouldn't be doing that much of a, a victory lap. The fact that they got into the top four by beating Leicester City on the last day of, of the season, the same Leicester City that over the years have only managed to, to keep hold of, of two of their big stars in, in Vardy and, and, and Schmeichel. They've lost Kante, they've lost Mares. They've lost uh, Maguire to Manchester United. Suggests that for as good a, a, a finish as, as it may seem on paper, Manchester United are a long way from where we expect them to be. I think many expect them to be. But given how low they set their own bar over recent years, you take what, what they give you this time around. Listen, uh, Dan, if Man United uh, had toppled the two boys at the top, 
then we'd all be eating a bit of humble pie. Even if they'd squeeze themselves in between Liverpool and a very average Man City this season, I would have doffed my cap at them and said, that's a decent job. But to clamber into the top four in the last day of the season against teams that have faltered all year, the big teams that normally go on for it, is no way for a celebration lap. And I thought by his interview, by his words, his terminology, and the fact that he's, he's sitting flicking through negative criticisms, telling me that next year he's going to be under big pressure because we know Man City are going to go and spend. We know they're back in the Champions League. We know they're going to go out and beef up that back four. And Liverpool are not going to sit in their hands. So they've got it all to do. When he proves he can do that and match those two, then he'll get the praise he deserves. Until then, I don't think so. Just, just last word on this. Does anyone know how many points they got last season compared to 66. this? 66. Oh, right, good, OK. <laughs> just... Exact same as this season. 66. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.